Diagnosing ignition problems and misfires is a lot easier when you're using a lav scope. Now in the scope, there's a specific test just for Fords and testing their coils. It's called a coil current RFI test. Let's walk through it right now. Okay, so we're in the guided component test right now and we're under the fuel injection system. Now it's an ignition test, so we'll go into ignition tests and it is a secondary test. Click there and there is the coil current RFI test. So if we go through in the test, it's going to give us a little description about how we're doing it. It says set the amp probe up at the 20 amp setting. Go down a little bit further, hook it around the coil on the battery positive side. Pull the coil out, flip it over, make sure it's not sparking on anything. And then hit view meter. And the meter will come up. Now I'll go start the car and see what we get for a pattern. Okay. Zoom out a little bit so you can see if we can find the pattern there. There's one. All right. So here's an example of a pretty good looking pattern. This is a fairly new car, so it doesn't have a lot of miles on it, so we'd suspect it would be good. We go down here a little bit, we can scroll up in the background and take a look at what a good pattern is. So that's a good waveform there, there's no weird RF spikes. If we go down a little further, there's an example of a bad pattern and this, this second little spike here, that's an RFI spike and we see some bad noise in there. So really there aren't any noise artifacts in this pattern, so this would be a good coil. Uh, typically this is going to cause like a PL300 code, which is fairly common on a lot of these so good test to do nice and quick and easy you don't really have to do much to tear it apart to get to it so hopefully that'll help you out in your diagnostics